smells so good. Good, there is still time. I shall prepare our sample at once. At first, I wasn't sure about being stuck with the one head. But better that than playing nanny to the mewling house cat. <laughs> Be quiet, Buckle Jaja. No one cares what you think. Huh. Act tough all you like. Victory will be ours. It's ready. Apologies for the wait. We submit to you our Shibrook Pibil. <gasps> this looks amazing! The dish is prepared by using the culinary techniques of the Mamulja to cook the spiced meats favored by the Jabral. It is a symbol of peace between their two peoples after centuries of war. Hmm. Both the ingredients and your methods appear to have been correct. Now then. Taste, texture, and aroma. You have recreated Shibrook Bibil. Admirably. Granted, anyone might well achieve similar results by following the recipe to the letter. But you went a step further. You sought to learn the cultural significance of the dish, about Yoktel's history of violence, and your father's role in ending it. Your willingness to take lessons from the past befits aspiring dawn servants. And for that, I commend you. All that remains is to partake of your creation. Through understanding, is gained only through experience. Now this is something I'm definitely good at. Ahem. I believe we have yet to receive our assessment. Ours is also a faithful example of Shibruk Pibil, as you will no doubt agree. I see. While your effort looks the part, unlike the second and third promises dish, it lacks its defining aroma. P -p Preposterous! The meat was marinated in spice before being steamed in an earthen oven. This is Shibruk Pibil. Oh. And what about the Jatika banana leaf? I, I... It's because of you that we couldn't get any damn leaves! You can't fault us! But the second and third promises had no such difficulty, did they? That which they needed, they acquired simply by showing interest in our history and heritage. Ugh, it's just some crusty old leaf. 
What difference could it make? Your dish lacks an essential ingredient. As you have failed to demonstrate an adequate understanding of Shibruk Pibil, I must deem your performance unsatisfactory. Your team will not receive keystones. <sighs> this was stupid anyway. ambition only grows more intense. That someone could harbor such dark thoughts towards family. What do I care for this sham of a feat? I can always take what I need later. The brook is so tender it melts in your mouth, and the way the Najul leaf rounds out these spices is sublime. This is the taste of harmony. Someone who only knows brute force and deception could never appreciate it. Choke on your harmony. Come, come. Finish your meal. That too is part of the feat. Don't have to tell me twice. Ah, <sighs> that was please. It was palatable enough, I suppose. To you, who have successfully performed the feat of repast, I present these keystones. Only one feet left. Well, I should get going then. I'm glad that I, uh, wasn't paired with one of the others. We can do better than that, surely. The sixth keystone is ours. Thanks for all your help, everyone. something important. Um, was there any shipbrook people left? I could really use another helping.
What is the meaning of this? And just how far do you plan on taking us? Jaja, you snake! If you want my keystone so badly, you'll deal with me and me alone. Leave the Elector out of this. <laughs> is that all you think he is? Foolish kitty! This man is the reason we are here. Take a good look at him. Go on. Look. Surely you recognize your real father. Don't believe us? Then ask your trusted Selsworth. He heard it straight from the old man's mouth. Is it true? Is Homorok my... Your silence says it all. Now that you understand the situation, let's see those keystones. I'll even let you fight for them. Just you and me. If that adventure attempts to interfere... I'll kill the old man myself! You despicable, heartless fiend! Kinsman or no? I won't stand for you taking hostages! Come on then! You wanna fight? I'll give you a fight! Oh, such heroic caterwauling promise! I'm shaking. Guard our hostage well. We wouldn't want to attempt any thoughts of rescue. By the by, house guard, they've been instructed to put down Papa dearest when you lose. Hopefully he settled his affairs. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'm not losing to the likes of him. What are you waiting for, you blessed bastards? It's two against one. Don't tell me you're scared. I know I didn't hear you right. on me, the house cat, remember? I'll say it again, I'm not losing to the likes of you. 
I'm going to become Don's servant. And I will protect my people!
servant. I must carry on Papa's legacy. His love for our people. Leave it up, sir. Why won't you die? I reclaim what you stole. No. How can this be? How could that puny house cut beat all of us? You've caused nothing but trouble with your dirty tricks. Threatening the Hanu Hanu, releasing Vali Armanda. Harassing me is one thing, but you've endangered too many innocents. No more, Bakul Jaja. I will not stand for it. If you even think of tormenting my people again, you will answer to me. No. Gets he had the way blocked. What? That was his doing? 
The only part left in the saga is the Lay of the Brotherhood in Mamuk. The plan was to force you here so we could take the rest of your keystones. So that's what he was up to. But, uh, should you be telling us this? <sighs> what does it matter? You've beaten us. It's over. We'll release the hostage. Jaja said about you and me. I... Ha. But to single-handedly defeat Bakul Jaja, you truly are the Dawn Servant's daughter. It has been my honor to bear witness to your journey. Promise. Yes, that's what I am. I'm Gulul Jaja's daughter, and Tuli Hyolal's next dawn servant. Come on, let's rejoin the others. The passage to Mamuk remains blocked. For now, all we can do is try to rest and recover. Perhaps with a meal, as my sister would no doubt suggest. Shall we borrow the kitchens and prepare some Shibruk Pibil? <laughs> So, thou hast taken a liking to the dish. As we learn to appreciate the unfamiliar, tis only natural that we develop new affinities. There is no shame in this. But there is an ignorance. I had barely considered what the people of Tuli Yolal hold dear. What hopes they harbor for the future. Our nation is built upon the bonds that Father forged during his journey across Tural. But so single-minded have I been in my advocacy of foreign innovations. 
that I failed to understand my own people. Could someone who struggles to connect with the populace ever make a worthy Dawn servant? To understand and connect with people is by no means easy. But there is something you can do to pave the way. Let them see you for who you really are. What makes you laugh and cry and rage. That sort of honesty is the first step towards mutual understanding and connection. Understanding begets fellowship, as my father said. And yet, what you suggest does not come naturally to me. I, too, have found it difficult to speak from the heart. In thy struggles, I see mine own painful in their familiarity. Yet frightening though it may feel, if we are to move forward, we must indeed take that first step. Dispense with pretense and simply be. Do you remember when you first approached us and we asked you why you wanted to become Dawn Servant? You said you wished to use the knowledge you acquired in Charlian for your country, and in doing so, repay your father for the opportunities he afforded you. What won me over was not your ambition, but your motivation. So let your people know this, and in time, they'll come to support you as we do. You can't hide behind that stoicism forever. Very well then, I will make a greater effort to be myself, by not being my usual self so much.
Up there! Bested by a mere shade. Sorocha? Papa? 
Not as you know him. What you see is an arcane manifestation of the Dawn Servant as he was in his prime. Channeler is Irelja, Autarch of Mamuk and Elector for the Feet of the Brotherhood. Duly your love's mightiest warrior, yet wisest you are not. You who spurned your retainer's aid when battling your betters. To prove oneself superior to blessed siblings by surpassing the shade of Galul Jarjar himself. That is the final feat. The first promise fought alone and fell short, but that is now the least of his concerns. You could have let your foolishness end with your failure. But instead, you attempted to harm an anointed Alector. Zoralja, as of this moment, you are no longer a claimant. I disqualify you from the right of succession. Be gone from my sight. isn't over yet. I will be the one to reach the Golden City. When Zorocha was defeated, he tried to take the Keystone by force, but he was thwarted by Father Shade. My dearest child, welcome home. This feat was made for you. Only blessed siblings could hope to defeat Gulul Jaja. But ere we begin, I would see the fruits of your triumphs. Come, show me your tablets. What is this? Where are your keystones? Explain yourself, boy! <sighs> no matter. Not all can be expected to go to plan. What keystones you lack... You can easily take. I... I tried. But, but I couldn't... I... cannot beat her. You mean to tell me... that you... Glory of Mamuk for whom all here have sacrificed, were defeated by your inferiors. <sighs> you are as useless as your siblings. A failure. Leave and never return! You have no place here! 
Let's go, brother. Worthless! Pathetic! This was our chance to claim sovereignty, and he ruins it! Stragglers fail. Gulul Jaja will be forced to extend his rule. And in the next rite of succession, we will present a better claimant. So come, stand before me, and fall. I won't do your trial. Oh? You intend to forfeit the right? Papa wants his successor to intimately understand the country he loves. Every step of my journey, I've learned something about our peoples and their cultures. I would do the same here in Mamuk. The Mamulja deserve nothing less, so your battle can wait. I'm of the same mind. Father named you an elector for a reason. There must be something that he would have us learn. Hmm. Do as you will. But until you triumph over the shade, you shall proceed no further. I promise, I would speak with you. Meet me on the western outskirts.
I shouldn't have looked down. The stone pier yonder. That is our destination. To erect it there would have been no small feat. The work of Yokui hands built long, long ago. Our forebearers merely altered the entrance. Altered? To what end? It will be quicker to show you. We have beasts that can carry us below. A cool charger. What? Could it wait to laugh at the failure? You've always come here to cry. Ever since you were little. Third promise seeks to learn about Mamuk. She may be our chance to finally end what we have been powerless to stop. Talk with her. Tell her what we have done. Fine. Perhaps it's only right that we be the ones to speak of it. <laughs> Listen. As we are. This vessel holds the remains of a two-headed Mamunja. An infant. We converted the ruins into a cenotaph. So the souls of these children wouldn't return as vengeful spirits. Do you know how blessed siblings are made? I've heard that they are born to Hubago and Bunawa parents. Such unions between clans were originally arranged to stop infighting. The war against the Shebran was going poorly, and we needed to be united. Then, one day, a child was born, one blessed with two heads and tremendous power. When this child grew old enough to lead our army, we became unstoppable. The Shebral had no answer 
that we drove them all the way back to the trees above. That taste of victory awakened our greed. We became obsessed with conceiving more and more of these superior children. No matter the cost. Of the countless born, most die. Trapped in their ships. Only one in a hundred survive. If we are blessed, it is only because we yet live. Unlike our brothers and sisters, who were sacrificed for the glory of Mamuk. That's... horrible. Of course it's horrible! It's an atrocity we can never take back! Those children died so that we could live. So we had to succeed, no matter what. To fail would mean it was all for nothing. Nothing. But I did fail. I squandered their sacrifice. I should never have been born. You're wrong. You didn't ask to be born as you are, and you are responsible for your siblings' deaths. The people obsessed with blessed siblings are. They made their choices, but they don't make yours. Since when do you let others push you around, Bakul Jaja? What do you want? Say it! I... want it... to end. I don't want any more to die. My word. We'll put a stop to this madness. Blessed siblings are revered by their supporters as a means to achieve dominance in Tarar. If we understand why they harbor such aspirations in the first place, we would be better equipped to treat with them. Indeed. I just hope they will be open to discourse. Take me with you. Those fanatics treat my words as gospel. No. There will be trouble if your father finds out you're still here. Moshutural Zush. There we will gather the people and ask anything the Third Promise wishes to know. Then take one of my scales. One that blends the Hubiko and Bunewa coloring. It'll serve as proof that you have our trust. People will do as you say if you show it to them. I'm sorry for what I've said and done. I don't expect your forgiveness.
You had your reasons. I'm glad I could know them. Which is to say, you're not a complete alpaca's ass. Well, maybe it's for the best. Hatred is exhausting, after all. Indeed. So let us make the most of our newfound friendship and bring together the people of Mamouk. We have much to discover. Thank you. 